Good afternoon, my name is Roman Klokov and we are here today with Viktor Lempitsky to present our work, Hidden Networks for the Recognition of 3D Shapes. Investigations for the possibilities to apply deep learning to solve various recognition tasks on 3D data are becoming more and more popular. Different initial representations of 3D input are used to solve these tasks. One of the possible representations is a point cloud. Each point cloud each point in a cloud could be represented by its coordinates in space and some additional features like normals, reflectivity, and any other pre-computed local statistics. 3D CNNs apply to voxelized representations of shapes and 2D CNNs combining information from several 2D images of the shape became a common standard for classification and retrieval tasks. However, the usage of uniform cell grids may lead to poor scalability with the increasing resolutions. Our idea is to use scalable indexing structures applied to point clouds instead of uniform cell grids. In particular, we use a KD tree as an underlying structure for our deep architecture called KD network. This architecture still performs hierarchical bottom-up computations and use weight sharing techniques similarly to convolutional networks, but avoids using uniform cell grids. Um, just to remind everyone, KD trees are binary spatial partition trees which are constructed recursively by splitting the data at the median of an axis with the biggest value range. They naturally impose hierarchical structure on the point clouds. One of our surprising findings was that this structure contains information about shapes valuable for recognition tasks. Moreover, this information can be used to define weight sharing mechanisms within a neural network. KD networks compute vectorial representations of the nodes of KD trees in a bottom-up fashion. To do that, representations of children nodes are concatenated and fed to affine transformations with an application of nonlinearity. The parameters of these transformations depend on the depth level of the tree and on the type of the split performed for the parent. Thus, each split type corresponds to a separate set of weights. Finally, representations for the whole KD trees and underlying point clouds are obtained as a result of a bottom-up pass. These representations can be used to solve classification and retrieval tasks. The performance of the resulting models is comparable to state-of-the-art methods based on multi-view CNNs for classification. It is possible to extend KD networks for segmentation. It is done with a Howe-glass-shaped architecture which follows the ideas of UNET, through the use of additional skip connections between representations of the same nodes before and after the bottleneck. In case of part segmentation, the results are slightly worse. However, one of the advantages of KD networks for segmentation is low memory footprint. Moreover, our follow-up work suggests that using partition trees with non-axis aligned splits can bring further improvements to recognition accuracy. Our code is available online, and thank you, and see you at our poster.